Hi, in studio we made controller and integrated data table with our Laravel project and also we generated some records through factories migration and seeds. So now in this video I'm going to write a query but before writing a query I want to show you something. So here in the documentation if you see this ajax method for server side processing there are several parameters which we need to use in our controller so we are going to use this draw and records total records filter and data also i would like to show one more thing which is inside laravel documentation and here we need offset parameter here you can see there are laravel functions we can use it in our query and one more thing which is this if you go into firefox and click on network you can see the params which has been posted by data table and we need to use this param as well in our controller so let's get started and here i am going to write a query so products and we have model as you know so now I'm gonna grab some script from this documentation which is this copy and then paste here alright and I don't need this object and one more thing which is order by and in order by we need to use two parameters we have this column name so I'm gonna use it and then ascending I would like to fetch record ascending wise so this offset means is this query should pull the record from which row so this query will pull the record from row number 10 i mean row number 11 and this is limit so i would like to pull 50 records and it will be ascending order of name column and next step is i should have some count of total records and filter records so here I need to do something like this like total product equal into product get and then count we have total products and now we are going to make an array which is response array and here I'm gonna use the same parameter which are inside in documentation the first one is draw and this value should be one and second one is sorry records total and records filter and fourth one is data so records total and records filter and last is data so in records total we need to add here total products and we can also use the same here and for products we need to use here all right and the last step is i need to return the response which type should be json and here we have response array with 200 http status so let me check if this script is working or no so in the browser i am going to refresh the page and here we have data so we have 10,000 entries we are going to improve it one more quick thing which is if we go in product list blade.php we need to add display class here which will beautify our data table it is data table class so you can see there is change something and now we are going to work on this filter and this search input and again if i inspect and go in the network you can see there is a post of data table and which is posting some params and we can use it in our controller so let me modify this for this data table so here we are going to use these parameters in our controller and now the first one is order column and I, I, I need to use this one so first one is order data table order and we have request parameter so request and then input 
inside input we can get it by a dot notation so order and then zero and then column so order and then zero and then column and this should be inside column array and next is a data table order direction which is you can see order zero direction and we can send request input and then order then direction I just need to move this script to here so that we can use inside our query. So we have two parameters and we can use here. And let me check if it is working or no. So if I'm going to refresh and it, it is working. And now we have two more offset and limit. I'm going again inspect network and then I just need to refresh params so here you can see we have two more parameter which is one is start and another one is length so here i need data table offset which is start so request input and then param name and we have also length so this is limit you will use as a limit data table limit and request again input and limit so we can use it in our query and so i think we are good to check this should be length and now i need to check if it is working or no this pop-up is coming because we are rendering four column and we have five so i'm gonna solve this issue so this query is working fine and next step we need to enable this search right now it is not working so let me show you how it will be functional so here i'm gonna add an if statement if request and input you can see we have parameters inside post method and here you can see we have search value we are going to use this one in our controller so again search and dot notation then this one else so if someone search through this input which is this one and the data table will execute this statement otherwise by default statement will be this one so i just need to copy and then paste here and now i'm gonna move this one into here and here i need actually one like query so i'm just gonna copy here and then paste so i'm gonna use one laravel built-in function which is where and this should be here and now i need function and use and now in this closure i need variable search by user which is equivalent to write this one and here i need query and now this function should be like this and inside this query should be like this and we need our statement and here we have name like and now as you know we use we always use this person for like query so again and now this search by user and one more which is or where it's mean we are also searching from description column so it's same description then like and then concatenation and we have query and it should be work one more thing yes our data table it should be work and so now we need to think about this records filtered so we are going to create one variable here which is total filter products and it should be equal to total products but here we are gonna make it different here this should be count of fetch products and i just need to change here and i hope it will work and now one more thing which is as you know we are using one here but here we also need to use something from params so when i go here inside params as you know you can see it is draw one but still we need to make it dynamic so request input and then draw right and now i'm gonna check if it is working or no so let me refresh and 
this is working so suppose i am searching this this is a word into our table and as you can see we have filtered record and showing one two three of three entities and filtered from 10,000 total entries and we can also uh, change our entries but it will work when it has some data so 25 and now we are going to fix this pop-up so here we have all records so what if you are going to make data data array and then array and under the array we can use for each loop and product and then just single product and now i'm gonna make it like this so here we have id and it should be equal to id very simple and then copy paste name and then description and here and name should be here and now we have two more status and action and data array again status and here we can use ternary operator which is like this if status equivalent to one then active otherwise disabled and now we have one more thing which is action in action you can use anything whatever you want suppose any anchor tag like i mean anything so i'm gonna use here href and it should be product id and here vo detail and now this should be here and now let me check oh it's not working so we can try one more trick which is suppose if i have records and which is equivalent to this data array and now this record should be here and let me refresh and it is working so this is our data table i can show you the pagination this is server side processing and you can see the entries filter and now we have 25 entries and i can show you 100 here is and if you want to search whatever you want you can search it for example what i should search for example this emi ly and you can see i have all words which are matched by this input so thank you so much for watching this series and if you like then please subscribe my channel support me and like comment and share thank you so much once again for watching this tutorial